Iron Man is one of the most successful comic book characters to ever translate over into the world of film. And it was the Iron Man series that kicked off the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The man in the iron suit, Tony Stark, is known for being charismatic, brilliant, rich, famous, a bit arrogant, and he's a struggling alcoholic. In 1979, the Demon in a Bottle storyline added a new layer of realism to Tony Stark. While most superheroes had vulnerabilities like kryptonite or the color yellow for Green Lantern, Iron Man was dealing with something much more realistic that readers themselves may have encountered firsthand. Bob Layton was one of the writers responsible for the storyline. I asked him how Marvel reacted when they found out he planned to make Tony Stark an alcoholic. There, there was no controversy. People wonder if there was. The main reason we did that was the heart problem had run its course. By, even by the mid-70s, heart transplants were commonplace. We're like, why don't, everybody say, why don't you just get a new heart? You know, it's like, but we wanted to create something because we were creating a new corporate world. Tony's world was a world of corporate intrigue, global. And uh, we were really expanding on the, on the original concept of that character. And we thought about a corporate disease, something that happens to even the, 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 the guys in the highest of power still succumb to cocaine addiction or alcohol addiction or whatever. And he seemed like a ripe character to tell a very, very poignant story. But it makes him so much more relatable because you could say, hey, this guy's a millionaire or a billionaire or whatever. And you know, people are envious of him, but they don't really identify with him. You give him a problem that maybe a parent's had or they've had, now they're relatable. If you could have seen the mail we got, because you got to remember, this was 1978, 79, so there was no email or anything like that. We got bags of mail from people, and it would wrench your heart out, talking about, I thought my dad was a bad guy until I read the book and I realized that he has a disease, and, you know, it's like, it's not, you know, I don't have to hate him, you know, I hate the disease or whatever. You know, it's like if Tony Stark can do it, my dad can do it, you know, or it's like I've been sober for a year and I, I still get letters like that all the time from guys. There was a guy in the Navy just a few months ago who had just gotten out of the service and he had been partying way too hard and he knew he had a problem and he asked if I would sign a Demon in a Bottle comic that he could keep on his wall and remind him, you know, to stay on the path. You know, so it's something that has gone on now for like 40 years, you know. But there was no controversy at the time. My editor, when we went in to, talk, to pitch it to him, said, just do it right. 